After crossing the border into Canada, ferrying over to Vancouver Island and exploring beautiful Victoria, we have made our way to Souk. Souk is located on Vancouver Island's west coast and has many beautiful beaches, food, and outdoor recreation. We are going to start our time here in Souk by exploring one of its local gems. The Whiffenspit Trail is a popular walking trail for the locals. It offers spectacular views of the ocean and there's almost always a chance to see sea lions, seals, and other awesome creatures. We literally just put the camera down after talking about all the sea creatures that you should expect to see on this trail. And we saw an otter and he was showing off, he was doing flips, eating fish, and he was just so cute. And I hope we find more. the entire trail there's driftwood hummingbirds just so much wildlife and we actually noticed that there are mooring balls and just a little fun fact we talked about living on a sailboat a while back before we ever got a camper or a houseboat either or and that may be in our future but as of now we're loving the RV life While we enjoy visiting local gems, we also really enjoy going to more known places. And when we were researching Vancouver Island, this place really stuck out to us and we're super excited to visit it. We made it to the trailhead and with the amount of cars here, you can tell how popular this area is. We are doing the Juan de Fuca Marine Trail down the Mystic Beach and it's an out and back trail making it a total of four kilometers. This trail is very well marked by the orange things on the trees that you see, but it's actually hard to follow them because you have to keep looking at the ground to stare at the roots to make sure you don't trip over them. After hiking for a little while, the trail ends up leading to a suspension bridge which goes over Pete Wolf Creek and it is absolutely beautiful. This suspension bridge is kind of crazy because there are grates in the bridge so you can literally see right down through to the creek and it's beautiful and a little bit scary. <laughs> As we get closer to the beach, you can start feeling that coastal breeze coming through the trees. And while it was cold when we first left, I started sweating having the puffer on, and now I'm starting to feel a lot better with the breeze coming through. Mystic Beach is located along the famous Juan de Fuca Trail and it's also one of the most scenic beaches in the area. Once you get to the end of the trail and you get down to the beach, if you go left it will take you to the little waterfall and if you go right it actually takes you to this rope swing and there's sea caves back there also. We 
made it to our spot for the night just a couple minutes away from the trail that we just did and we use iOverlander typically to find spots and we found this beautiful free spot and we are not mad about these views. This morning we are at the Juan de Fuca Provincial Park. We're heading down to Sombrero Beach and while we've heard the beach is beautiful, we're here to see something a little bit more unique. Before Sombrero Beach became part of the Juan de Fuca Provincial Park in 1997, for around 30 years there's a community of squatters that can surf and raise their families in an off-grid lifestyle. What we are trying to find is a gorge with a waterfall and basically you walk down onto the beach, you walk left, you keep going until you see this little rock formation over here and then there's a stream running down and you follow the stream all the way up and then we should make it there. So you climb through this gorge, little wall at the bottom here and then you walk up and there's this crazy beautiful waterfall and you're still walking through the stream but check out this waterfall. Wow. The falls are absolutely beautiful and the gorge is unreal. It is just so crazy to be walking on the beach and this just be minutes away. But if you do come here, make sure you plan it out because you do need to come by falling tide or by low tide. And speaking of tides, the next place we need to get to, we need to go at low tide and we need to hurry. Just 30 minutes away, we made it to our final stop in the Juan de Fuca Provincial Park and that is Botanical Beach, but we do need to hike very, very fast to get there at low tide. We are not kidding about how fast we need to be going right now. Grayson even brought a protein shake on the trail just so we could get there in time. But there are bears on this trail supposedly. At the front of the trail there are a bunch of different signs that say beware of bears and all of that. So hopefully we see one because I want to see one but hopefully it's not too close. If you're lucky while you're exploring here at Botanical Beach you might be able to find sea urchins, anemones, sea stars, octopus and more. This has to be one of the best beaches here on Vancouver Island. all the tide pools it's like each one is its own fish tank ecosystem and there's just so much to see in each little tide pool we walked a little bit far from where we started and the water is already coming up like crazy so we're making our way back now overall we've enjoyed our time so much in the Juan de Fuca provincial area and if you are coming to this area to explore there's a lot to see so definitely be ready but from here we're driving two hours across the island to Nanaimo. <laughs>